welcome to the Motion Picture Notion. I'm your host, Gabriel Burton, and today I want to talk about, um, actually my favorite video game of all time, which is probably laughable to most people, but I don't really give a shit. Um, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <clears throat> now, this was a video game that came out in 1993 for Super Nintendo, and if you're somebody who loves horror movies, or even thought that you might love horror movies when you were a child, this is your game. It has like 55 levels. They go through everything. There's like these guys wearing hockey masks that have chainsaws. There's werewolves, vampires, zombies. Uh, and you pick up like all this like really funny shit that does different things. Like, um, you know, for example, like the, the werewolf, you pick up like a fork and a knife and it's silverware and you throw it at the werewolf and that's what kills them immediately. You know, obviously like the graphics are relatively just Super Nintendo, but, um, it doesn't matter. The game itself has a lot of entertainment value. It's a relatively harmless game that, I mean, kids can play. So here's my thing. The game company that released Zombies Ate My Neighbors was LucasArts, which was the video game subsidiary to LucasFilms, which, as we all know now, is owned by Disney. So... We're living in the 2010s right now, and the 90s nostalgia is really in. Make a Zombies Ate My Neighbors movie. I would go out to see it. I would give my money to go out and see it. And it's like for those of you youngins out there who have not played Zombies Ate My Neighbors or are just totally unfamiliar with it, look it up. It is really, really fun. I was, I was even really thinking they could do something like it, it could be a cartoon, uh, kind of in the vein of like Monster House or something like that. I know that we're living in an era where parents are a lot more skeeved out like about like their kids watching scary things you know there is no like are you afraid of the dark but the fact of the matter is they did they did just do the goosebumps movie with um jack black and it was actually pretty damn good sorry kind of off topic but watching the goosebumps movie i was it, like it hit me all at once i'm like Holy shit, I have read a lot of these books. The thing is, doing shit like that, doing stuff that you loved as a child from the 90s, uh, it's nothing but a good idea for the movie company to do such a thing because, you know, you sort of like entice a younger audience, sort of like, oh, zombies ate my neighbors, that looks really cool, you know? But then you get the older crowd that's sort of like, I remember that. I hope they don't fuck it up. I think they'd make a lot of money on this, and honestly, I'd just like to see it. It's just an idea, and I'm putting it out there. Seriously, really cool video game. And if any of you have an Android, by the way, there is an app that you can download that is essentially a Super Nintendo emulator. I mean, the actual emulator itself takes up space, but like, if you download the Super Nintendo ROMs, it takes up virtually no space. So, yeah, if you have an Android, Check out Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It might work for an iPhone too, but unfortunately I'm not that fancy. And that's all she wrote.